Morocco and the Democratic Republic of Congo shared a point each, and the same result goes for Zambia versus uh, Tanzania, and the South Africa uh, whitewashing Namibia four goals to zero. Ladies and gentlemen, those were the scores of yesterday's game, the two games of the African Cup of Nations actually taking place in uh, Ivory Coast. Uh, we call it the Can Total Energies Can. 2023 and uh, today we are going to see some other uh games that are going to take place uh but then i want to first of all tell you that there is uh the asian uh, football championship which is just like the african cup of nations that is being organized in qatar uh qatar is hosting that tournament and uh, today qatar will be locking horns with china and uh, uh, Tajikistan in Group A will be uh, facing uh, their counterpart, uh, Lebanon, at exactly 5 p.m. West African time. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for always respecting the rendezvous. And again, it's a beautiful day. I am happy to see you. <laughs> thank you again, ladies and gentlemen. We are talking about the African Cup of Nations, which is the most prestigious tournament in the continent. Um, uh, you should know that we have some teams today who are going to play their last uh, group games uh that uh, day of play uh in uh, the group stages and uh, some other teams are relaxed some will rest their players because they have already made it through to the round of 16. meanwhile others will be beefing up stepping up and making sure that they grab those points that are much needed for their qualification as well as there are other teams who are going to just kiss goodbye to the tournament at the end of this particular day ladies and gentlemen it is going to be a very tough style uh between the various teams today but i want to tell you about the calf uh 2023 format the calf 2023 format uh is made in such a way that we, uh not all the teams will qualify automatically as it has been done in previous years uh after this round we go to round of 16 uh there is what we call the third place the third best spot there are some teams who are going to qualify even out of uh who will finish third in their group and they will uh, see themselves through to the round of 16 and how is this being done there are 24 teams that are playing this tournament right now and uh, 16 teams will be needed to go through to the knockout stages now uh to qualify as a best uh, third place first of all you must know uh that these 24 teams the two top teams from each group as well as four third place teams will qualify for the round of 16 that is the knockout stage now the third best place team the third uh, uh place teams how is it decided who qualifies as the third best place team there are four spots that are going to be available and this is how the decision shall be made um the third finisher with the highest point from the group stages if there is no team with the highest point from the group stages if there is uh if they have a tie they are going to look at their head-to-head -head meetings between a two side to make a decider if there is a problem with the head-to-head -head meetings we're going to look at with goal difference and if there is also an exact number of goal difference they are going to look at most goals scored and if their both teams have most goals scored equal goals scored so far ladies and gentlemen there is going to be what we call lock the lock is going to put uh, come in play here where uh the organizing committee they are going to do uh a, you know it it is a dice tossing you know they are going to make a lottery and make a selection of the team that is going to take place. This is, of course, a very special edition of African Cup of Nations that is being organized and uh, being hosted in Ivory Coast. I'll be right back with what makes fantastic statistics, highlights, previews of games that have been taking place today and the day, uh, three games in Group A and Group B. Don't go away. At the start Olympic Alassane Ouattara Stadium in the Abidjan, uh, exactly 6 p.m. West African time. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, it is a 60,012 seat capacity stadium. Equatorial Guinea is going to lock on with host Ivory Coast and this particular encounter, which is the last day of play, the last game in uh, Group A. We have four 
uh, matches today. Uh, group A finished today as well as uh, Group B. We are looking at Group A. What are the statistics and which teams have gone through and um, what lies ahead for this particular encounter as we are going to see Equatorial Guinea lock horns with uh, the elephants of uh, Ivory Coast. And table toppers, Equatorial Guinea are with four points. You should know this, that uh, Equatorial Guinea is coming into this game with four points. Their heads and shoulders up high. And Ivory Coast, uh, three points as well, where they lost one goal to zero to the uh, Super Eagles of Nigeria. Uh, Juan Mika's men, they need uh, to avoid the defeat to go through in the top two. And Equatorial Guinea, they are unbeaten in 12 games. Equatorial Guinea are unbeaten in 12 games. They have, well, recorded six victories and six draws. And the host Ivory Coast, a host victory, will see them through. Oh, yes, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, they have won both two previous meetings with Equatorial Guinea. The elephants of Cote d'Ivoire, they have a fine form against Equatorial Guinea with a perfect head-to-head -head meeting. Uh, their three last meetings saw Ivory Coast going out, um, emerging victorious in two games and uh, one draw. Ladies and gentlemen, you would like to watch Emilio Nsu. Emilio Nsu is, of course, a player from Equatorial Guinea. He's a striker from Equatorial Guinea, and he is the very first player since 2008 to score an African Cup of Nations hat trick. He did that against Guinea Bissau. And for Ivory Coast, you want to watch the wonderful striker as well, Seku Fofana. Fofana for Ivory Coast, all six of his uh, uh, goal scoring outings have ended victorious. That is, of course, uh, for Fana for Ivory Coast, you will want uh, to watch. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a tough time. It's a game we have to watch. It's a very important encounter. I urge you to come in to, you know, let me know what you think about this game. The Elephants of Cote d'Ivoire, a defeat for them is their dream shattered. And a victory or a draw, even a defeat for Equatorial Guinea can still see them through. And nevertheless, a defeat for Equatorial Guinea, they will be depending on the results of other games to see if they can finish or they can qualify as the best third place team. Nevertheless, a draw for Equatorial Guinea will see them automatically qualify for the round of 16. I'll be right back for another game in Group A, which is Guinea-Bissau versus with us. Don't go away. Thank you. The three games of uh, Group A, the last games of Group A, sealing the round of uh, um, the third round encounters, ladies and gentlemen, in the uh, Ivory Coast today, it is going to be at the start Felix Wani Boni in the Abidjan at exactly uh, 6 p.m. West African time. It is a 35,000 seat capacity uh, stadium. Uh, this particular encounter is going to be Guinea-Bissau versus uh <laughs> the super eagles of nigeria thank you again ladies and gentlemen for joining us this is your calf or afcon daily with fabiano deco from this end i am bringing to you a statistics match previews facts and head-to-head -head meetings between this side it is a prestigious tournament that is taking place in the continent. Ladies and gentlemen okay now we look at guinea bissau the guinea bissau side um it is their fourth campaign. This is the fourth, the fourth campaign of uh, Guinea-Bissau. And they have lost uh, their last 11 games of the African Cup of Nations. They have not been able to record any victory. Guinea-Bissau, they are yet to record a victory in their last 11 AFCON games. So they have been able to put just three draws and eight loss, which is a very positive one for uh, the Super Eagles of Nigeria. And uh, you would like to know that though they are considered out, but they can still make history if they beat the Super Eagles of Nigeria. Ladies and gentlemen, they have considered 12 in their last uh, three defeats. Uh, they have a leaky and shaky defense, which makes them very vulnerable to a fantastic attack of the Super Eagles of uh, Nigeria. And you would like to know that uh, uh, the Super Eagles of Nigeria, 
Uh, only one loss in their last 10 games. They have a very fine form. In their last 10 games, they were able to pull five victories, four draws, and one defeat, ladies and gentlemen. A draw will see them to the knockout stage of this uh, tournament. And a victory would make them to top the group if Ikitura Guinea failed to beat Ivory Coast. That is, of course, the statistics I'm giving you out there. And for you to know that the Super Eagles of Nigeria, since 2004, uh, they have lost only three of their last 22 games, uh, making them having a victory of 15 victories and four draws and you would like to watch these players <laughs> don't go away you would like to watch these players for tonight's game tonight's encounter at uh, the felix wangi stadium in uh, abidjan uh you would like to watch uh victor osimene for uh the super eagles of nigeria ladies and gentlemen he has never been beaten in any game in which he has successfully scored victor osimene has never lost a match in which he scores. That is, of course, the statistics of uh, Nigerian striker Victor uh, Osimen. And uh, to tell you that, on the side of Guinea-Bissau, you need to watch uh, Zina Ganos, who scored uh, four goals in, the, uh, who has scored four goals in all second halves of his appearances for his national team. Ladies and gentlemen, these of course the facts I'm bringing to you and the head-to-head -head meetings between uh, uh, Guinea-Bissau and Nigeria uh, has seen them in a very tough and tight corner where Nigeria has defeated them twice and they have been able to snatch one victory from their last three meetings. Therefore, it is likely a tricky encounter, but the Super Eagles of Nigeria, they have to be very careful if they want to go through to the next round they have to avoid a defeat by all costs. A victory for Guinea-Bissau is just like a cup of water in an ocean. That's that for Group A. I have been Fabiano Deco from this end. I will see you again to talk about uh, Group B games uh, of the African Cup of Nations taking place in Ivory Coast. Don't forget, you can always follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter, subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch all exciting match statistics previews of the african cup of nations i am right here i'm always with you to give you an update and the facts as it unfolds thank you very much i'll be right back